You gonna put it between like like you playing basketball. Put it between your legs. No, like drill it between. Oh. Your legs. But you got it. Now you gotta try to reach up and get it though. You gotta crunch with it. Crunch with it to get that. Oh ball. yeah, that's do, do that. Try it. Try it. Try. Mm. Try it. Mm. But don't let that leg touch the ground. I don't want them legs touching the ground. Keep them legs in the air. Keep them legs in the air. Keep that shit going, just like that. That's how you wanna do it. Keep that shit going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Wait. That shit going. There you go. There you go. Don't let that leg. Wait. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Wait. Keep going. Wait. Go ahead. Keep going. You feel something? Yeah. You feel something? Okay. That's how we're gonna kick it right there. Oh. Do that shit. Do that. Do that. I guarantee that stomach comes down. You, you I right. guarantee. Go. I guarantee that stomach comes down. That's Salute. how we're gonna kick Y'all see me right here getting it. What's going on, everybody? We got another episode of Global Everything TV. And first and foremost, I want to thank all y'all for tuning in. This is actually the first day of 2017. So it's a big day. And I kind of want to give y'all a special treat, man. I know a lot of people, number one New Year's resolution, besides trying to save money and do all that stuff financially, is to get in shape, lose weight. So I wanted to bring y'all a special fitness coach. He's a personal trainer. He's also a very good friend of mine. You know, when we when we reached out to each other on, on Instagram, he even say, is your number still blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nah, man, that number, I had that number like five, six years right, ago. Right, right. So we reconnected on social media, and I'm glad we was able to do this for y'all, man. They want to get right for 2017. So without further ado, I got my partner, my fitness coach, my personal trainer. He going to be my personal trainer soon. Right, right. Let's put that out there. That's right. Lamar Temp. How you doing today, Lamar? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Enjoying my first day of the new year, and uh, I'm ready to get started. Ready so to uh, I'm gonna just ask you off the top, you know, just tell me one of your one of your main New Year's resolutions for 2017. Uh, mine is just continue to be a good father, continue to be a good husband, and uh, just continue to enjoy life. Um, I just yeah. want to get, I want to reach out to more people and help them to to, to reach their health and fitness goals and let them know that they won't, I won't let them quit. Okay. There's no quitting. You know, you might have quit in the past, but dealing with me, that's done. That's done. We're going to keep this ball rolling in this new year. That's it. So, yeah, I'm sure just like I am, you're very excited about the new year, 2017. Uh, yes. Okay, so um, let's just get right into it, man. Tell the people, when did you first fall in love with fitness okay. and the whole idea of working out? Okay, so I was about 13 years old. Um, I grew up in Washington, D.C., and I kind of like a broken household. Um, my, it was all women. I was the only man in the house. And uh, they, women, you know, they argue, they bicky, they fight, they fight. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I developed like an anger problem, like serious anger problem, and I didn't have that male role model around to help me. So uh, I remember one time I was so pissed off, and I live in D.C., so it was like two-story house. So I, I threw my, my, my chair off my porch like damn near in the street. And I, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I gotta change my attitude. I gotta do something that's gonna make me, you know, I can turn my anger into something else. Mm -hmm. So I started running. I started doing push-ups. Um, I got some weights from my next door neighbor. I started working out and that's why I turned my anger into that. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I figured punch like, bag yeah, punch and bag, you know, <laughs> um, it was a gym down uh, a little further down the street called Finley's. I used to train there. And I uh, do a little boxing in there, so uh, I turn my anger into my workouts. And uh, that's how I went from there. So tell me about your first experience in the gym. Did it go as planned? Uh, it, was, it was called Results, um, okay. like downtown Washington, D.C. I did not like it at first because it was too crowded. And I think that was a big problem for me. Um, I, I wanted to get on certain machines, and the people were taking their time. They was kind of like talking on the phone, just, mm. you know, not really doing what they supposed to be doing in the gym, so um, I did not have a good first experience. Yeah. I ended up just staying home, working out there, and then that's, that's how I became uh, an at-home uh, exercise person. Like, I, I, I did not like the gym when I first went. I didn't enjoy it, but I, I gave it more chances after yeah. that, and uh, certain gyms still was okay, okay, but I feel like I was able to, I was more confident and more comfortable at home. You know, I was able to be loud. I heard, in some gyms, if you're too loud, they'll kick you out. You know, so um, I did not enjoy it that much at the gym. 
So you pretty much, you don't even need to go to a real gym to really get in shape. I feel like you, you don't. I feel like you don't. A lot of people think you need that atmosphere, but you don't. And I'm, I'm the type of person that teach them that you don't need that in order to stay fit and get mm-hmm. healthy and reach your goals. You don't need a gym for real. You don't need to pay that money to get a membership. You can buy the stuff and take it home and yeah. do it at home. Simple as that. Because a lot of months I done wasted on some gym membership. Yeah, I see. And I'm you sure sound, a lot of people can right. relate to that. <laughs> exactly. You sound like a lot of people. And uh, yeah. it, it's expensive, you know. It eats up your money. You could be taking that money, saving it to do something else for your family or for your friends. And, you you know, you don't need that gym membership. You don't need it. So who are some of the people that inspire you to want to get in shape? Okay, so some of the people, they, they're older now. like, And I still look at them. They still look good. Like one of them is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I used yeah. to watch wrestling growing yeah. up. And this guy's like, I believe, 44 years old, and he's still in shape, still in mm-hmm. great shape. He still go hard. I follow him on Instagram. Uh, another person is Ronnie Coleman. He's a famous bodybuilder. This guy is 52 years old, and he looks like he has a Mr. B. And uh, another one's L. O. Cool J. Like, yeah. that guy is still in shape. These are the guys, they're all older guys, and mm-hmm. they still look great, and they inspire me to want to stay in shape from when I get that age. So let me ask you something, though, right? Do you think, like, a regular person can get there or it's got to be part some of it is genetics i agree mm-hmm. i agree um and as far as i'm gonna say body type like uh as far as like somebody that's skinny like i'm st- i got a little muscle but i'm still on the skinny side i'm yeah, still skinny <laughs> um the truth is for real like somebody like me and you Ron, we'll never really get fit because yeah. our body type we'll never get fit like we might get a gut but we'll never get fed. <laughs> we, we, we'll never, we'll never like get overweight. We'll never be like, oh, like, that guy's obese. We'll never get like that. Mm-hmm. But we, we can't put on muscle, but it's going to be more of a challenge because yeah. you're made to be skinny. But you can do it. Like, you, you got to go hard, though. You got to go hard. Like, I'm talking like everyday workout. Try to do some push-ups. Try to do some sit-ups. Try to do something. Try to do something to get your day started. And when you get in that gym, you make sure you go hard. Don't, don't, don't slack off. Just go hard. Get in there. So I know a lot of people that work out like, like say for the New Year's, like right. you know how the gym is gonna be real crowded That's on the true. first. That's true. It's probably gonna be crowded up until the end of the week. That's true. Once the next Monday roll around, right? right. People gonna slack off. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's gonna be true. crickets in the gym. It's gonna be the normal routine people. That's true. Constantly in there. Right. How do people stay motivated? What what motivates you to consistently want to work out week after week? What, what motivates me is when I look at myself. Like, that really does it. I, I'm not trying to see anything, but when I look at myself, I like what I see. When I look at my abs, I like what I see. Yeah. My wife gives me that comment that I take that shirt off. She, ooh, boy. I, I, that's, yeah. that, I'm like, I'm going again, babe. I'm going, to, you know, that really does it. That confidence, you look better, you feel better. That really will, will help you to want to continue to go hard and not give up. And that's not going, but in order to get the results, you got to stick with it. Yeah. You got to stick with it. If you don't stick with it, then you won't see results. Simple as that. Simple as that. So tell us about the greatest success story that you've probably been a part of, or even that you want a part of. Uh, the greatest success story, um, I would say it was when I, the first person that I trained, the first person that I trained, um, it, was, it was a female. Um, she was highly stubborn, highly stubborn. She wanted to lose some weight, and we go back and forth, constantly argue back and forth. And uh, it got to a point where like she was ready to give up and I was ready to be done. But then some in me said, don't give up on this girl. Don't do not give up on this girl. So I had to talk with her. I was like, you know, I apologize for my attitude. Even if she wasn't willing to apologize, I told her I believed in her and I believed she could do it. Yeah. And I look at her nail, she looks great. Like she looks good. Like her body is amazing. And she still sticks with it. I still talk with her every day and she does a great job. So. You know, when I go back home, we spend time together. We still do workout routines, and she's st- I'm just proud of her. I'm proud of her. Proud so is it hard getting people to believe that you can actually help them? The, like I know a lot of people be real skeptical. Right, right. The, the hardest part is for them to believe in themselves. Mm. That's the hardest okay. part. Like, even you can say it, and then they be like, oh, but you, you got to really got to, you got to be patient because it's, 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 a, it's a process. It's definitely a process to stick with it. And uh, a lot of times they want to give up, but that's, that's where I come in. I, I do not believe in quitting. I do not yeah. believe in giving up. I believe that they can get it done, and I stick with them. And sometimes, and, and they say it, they say it right now. Um, I'm training a cousin of mine. He's actually on house arrest. And uh, as I'm training him and working out, he's like, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, but I love you. I hate you, but I love yeah. you. And he's doing good. He sent me a picture right now. 
like with a shirt off and the ass, I said, man, mm -hmm. so you still hate me? You still yeah. hate me? So, you know, um, I think that, that, that really does it for me. That, that, I love to see people progress and, and get it done. I love that. So you got some before and after pictures of some of your clients that you didn't work with? Uh, I don't think I do. I don't, yeah. Yeah, cause that's a new phone. I don't, I don't, I'm you sorry. I, don't. I, definitely, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely gotta get them. I definitely get them to try to send me some, uh, especially the guy I'm just training right now. His name is Kyle, the one guy on house arrest. Yeah. And he was, he was pretty big, but now that, that guy looks good. He looks amazing. I ain't gonna lie though. I think some people be photoshopping that stuff. Like. <laughs> Uh, they they could be yeah. they could be but I'm always hoping that they not I'm hoping that yeah. they actually you know are putting that work in yep. the right way and not the wrong way the fake way. So let me tell let me ask you what's your favorite exercise and body part to work out on? Um, I love to work out on my arms and I love to work out on my legs and my abs. I love my abs are my favorite thing to work out on because it's like I, I just love to look at them. You yeah. know I love to look at them and, and like I said go back to. The women, you know, the women gonna love it. You know, uh, I'm married, you know, but my wife, it's, it still feel good. She still give me that confidence. I, I, she can take your shirt off, you know. She mm -hmm. let me let me touch your ass. It's, it's still a good thing. So I love I love you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you did say legs though, so fellas, make sure y'all yeah. skip legs. Make sure days. don't legs definitely do not skip leg day. It does not look good having big <laughs> arms, big chest, and two picks for legs. You don't want that. You don't want that. You know, summertime you want to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the legs right. Yeah. Got to have the legs right. So let me ask you, um, what's your meal? What's your meal plan consist of? Like, are you a big fan of eating the same thing over and over again right. every day? Cause I know I'm gonna be honest with you. Right. When I was heavy into working out, it was probably for a year and a right. half straight. Right. And then I slacked off, which okay. I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to. Right. I was trying the whole meal thing. I had the meals prepped up. Right. I had them in the refrigerator. I had them in the freezer. Okay. Okay. And then by like I say, I started Monday. By Thursday, I'm like, I don't want no more brown rice and chicken. <laughs> and I threw it out. Like, now, you know, you, I started eating crazy. Again. I, get, I got you. You're a I you a big fan of that? I'm a big fan. Anybody know me? No, I love, love, I love Italian food. Mm -hmm. So that's why I constantly go hard on myself. I beat myself up because I had to substitute the, like, the pasta. I had to get the wheat pasta. And I get the brown rice and everything. <clears throat> but I, I have to... I have to work out constantly because pasta is my favorite thing. All the garden is where I, I propose to my wife at. Mm -hmm. I love Italian food, but, and um, I have this favorite dish that I make. It's brown rice, turkey, uh, Italian turkey sausage, and spinach, and I cook it all up in a pan. It's, it's a delicious meal. That's one of my favorite meals to eat. But yeah, that's one of my favorite. So you prep them in advance or you like make them daily? Um, I, I, I try to make them daily. I try to make them daily. I set, well, if I'm working a lot, um, like my full-time job, and in the summertime, it gets busy. I have a yeah. lot of overtime going on, so that's when I have to prep my meals constantly. I have to do, like, maybe by, like, Monday to Friday, I have them lined up in the refrigerator, ready to go. Um, in the morning, I have my oatmeal, I have my boiled eggs, you know. Um, I try to stay away from the fast foods. And a lot of times, you like, we might have to go get it sometimes because we got to go on the run. Mm -hmm. But don't make that a habit. Do not make that a habit. Oh, man. You do not make that a habit because if you do that, it'll come back and bite you in the behind. So about how many cheat meals do you have a week? Uh, about uh, a week, I would say at least like two. Okay. Kind of like in the beginning of the week and then the end of the week, I try to do it. Um, and uh, I love sweets. I love sweets, so I try to sub, 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 substitute that with uh, like it was this fruit dessert that I make with cream cheese and yeah. cut up uh, kiwi. It's delicious. It's a delicious meal, so that's what I try to use. That. And the smoothies and stuff, so... Yeah. Global Thanks TV.